Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we're actually going to compare expressions using a lot of what we learned up to this point. Um, this is the first type of question we're going to look at, replacing the question mark we have in there with either the less than, greater than, or equal to sign. To do that, we're going to have to solve both sides here, these two expressions of 3 times 2 plus 4, and also 12 divided by 3 minus 2. And then after we've solved both sides, then we'll be able to use our comparison, all right, greater than, less than, or equal to. So let's go ahead and start with question number one. We have 3 times 2 plus 4. The order of operations says first we do multiplication, so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4, 6 plus 4 is 10, all right. And now we'll do what's over here on the right side. 12 divided by 3 minus 2. Again, order of operations will say that we do the division first. 12 divided by 3 is 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So here, when we have our, well, our question mark, I guess, um, we would say which is larger, um, 10 or 2? And obviously 10 is greater than 2, so we'll put in the greater than symbol and get rid of this line on the bottom. So 10 is greater than 2. That's how we compare these two expressions. Now let's look at the second question where we have a set of expressions here. 5 times 2 plus 7, and in that case we do multiplication first. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. All right. We've got our little space there for whatever symbol we put in there. And then we have 5 times 2 plus 7. Because we have the 2 plus 7 inside of parentheses, we'll complete that first. 2 plus 7 is 9. Now we do 5 times 9, which is 45. And 45, in this case, is greater than 17. In other words, 17 is less than 45, so the symbol that would go in there is less than. All right, that's the way that we compared these expressions when they're written in that way. Let's do one more. It's a little bit bigger and has more grouping symbols. In other words, in more parentheses. 16 plus 2 is 18. And 2 plus 1 is 3. All right, so first we solved what was inside of the parentheses. We want to leave our space there for whatever symbol will go in there. And then we have 15 minus, and inside of our grouping symbols, we have 1 plus 4 times 2. The first operation that we'll do inside of this, these grouping symbols, or inside of the parentheses, is the multiplication. We do that first, so we end up with 1 plus 4 times 2 is 8. All right, so 18 divided by 3, we can go ahead and solve that one. And then over here, we will have 15 minus 1 plus 8. So in other words, 15 minus 9. And 15 minus 9 is 6. So the symbol that actually goes in there will be the equal symbol. All right? Both of these expressions on either side here are equal to each other. All right? So we're replacing our question mark with an equal sign in this case. All right? And all of this is just using the order of operations to solve each expression and then comparing the expressions at the end. For the most complicated, I think, probably, one of the most complicated questions that we're going to do is right here. In this one, we actually have brackets and parentheses. Brackets are essentially like parentheses only um, that we want to make a little bit of make it look different than having two sets of parentheses there. So we will do what is inside the most inside part first. So the six plus one will get done first. And then over here on the other side, three plus six will get completed first. All right, so we just did what was inside the parentheses first. 30 minus 4 times 7, which is 28. 
And then over here we'll do our multiplication, 10 times 9, and we'll also do this multiplication of 5 times 9, because it's subtracted by se or separated by subtraction, so we can do both of those in the same step. All right, so 90 minus 45 and 30 minus 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. 90 minus 45 is 45. And now we can compare our expressions because we've solved them. So 2 is obviously much less than 45. So this will be our final solution. 2 is less than 45. All right, we've solved both sides, both expressions using the order of operations, and then we compare the values of the expressions at the end. The last um, order of operations, really a grouping, is when you have something like this, you've got two fractions. You have to solve whatever is on top of the fraction first, and whatever is on the bottom first, almost like there's parentheses around them. So let's go ahead and look at that. In this case, we have four times 6 divided by, what we're going to do is inside the parentheses we do that first, 2 plus 3, or 2 plus 1, I'm sorry, I solved it already. 2 plus 1 is 3. And we'll set that all over 4. And on the other side we do 40 divided by 8 times 3. Whenever we have multiplication and division, we do them in order from left to right. So we'll first do 40 divided by 8, which is 5 times 3. And because we have this on the bottom, we can solve it in our first step as well. Now we're going to solve this one here from left to right, doing our order of operations. We do multiplication and division from left to right. So 4 times 6, 4 times 6 is 24, divided by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And 5 times 3 is 15. And now I've run out of space. So that would be the next step. OK. And we'll just shift those things up so that we can solve. 8 over 4 is 2. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. So in the end, we can put in the less than symbol, because 2 is less than 3. That's going to be our final solution for this comparison. The next type of question is open sentences. And this, when you're given an open sentence like n plus 6 equals 10, we can easily do this in our head. But it's nice to know that we have one of these options is definitely going to be correct. All right. So what we're going to do is substitute these values in for n, just like we would a replacement set. So we'd say. 1 plus 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 6 is 8, 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. So that's going to be the correct solution for this open sentence. Here's one more open sentence that we'll do in closing here. Um, 3 plus 2 times g is equal to 15. So we'll first substitute values in here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is not 50. 2 times 4, see I'm substituting that in there. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 2 times 6, 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15, so that's correct. We can plug this last one in just to check. 2 times 8 is definitely more than 15, so we add 3 on. That doesn't make any sense. So. 6 is our correct answer for the solution of this open sentence. And that is how we compare expressions. I hope that's been helpful. Have a wonderful day.